Welcome to another day in Yangon. I'm out in one of the busy laneways near my guest house because I'm on my way to the train station to try and buy a, a train ticket. That is my first mission for today with many more coming after that. So uh, let's get started. One of my main reasons for coming back to Myanmar the, on my second visit is that I wanted to ride on a lot more trains here. I only had my uh, one train trip last time going from uh, Yangon to Bagan and that was so interesting I wanted to come back and uh, ride on a few more trains. I was originally going to spend a few more days here in Yangon but I found out I was taken by surprise by yet another festival. The three-day festival of Thadingyuk is coming up. During this festival, most people in Myanmar go home to spend the time with their families. So when this festival gets started, the trains and the buses and everything are, is going to be jammed and packed. So I'm trying to make the trip to Malamayin before the really busy period starts. You might think you would go to the train station to buy a ticket, and uh, maybe you can, I'm not really sure about that, but I was told that you have to come here to this Myanmar Railways office and buy a ticket here. As you can see, it's not exactly uh, covered in signs pointing the way. This is where I bought my ticket last time to go from Yangon to Bagan. So I've been in there one uh, other time. So I'm gonna head back in and uh, see if I can buy this ticket. To book one of these train tickets, you have to remember to bring your passport or at least a copy of your passport. That might be good enough, I'm not sure. But they need your passport number for the ticket. And what I find quite interesting is that the train ticketing system here is not computerized. It's all done with uh, paper reservations. So you cannot book a ticket on a train from another city in advance. What you have to do is wait until you get to that city, go to their train station and book another ticket and it's all written down in the ledger and all the reservations are made you know, on paper and you're given a paper ticket. So that's kind of cool. Seems like a very friendly, uh, old fashioned kind of system. And what I often do in these situations is I bring a little, whoa, check this out. <laughs> I barely even noticed that uh, razor wire aiming right for my neck. One of the uh, dangers of talking to a camera. Anyway, what I often do in these situations is bring a little notebook and I write down, you know, the name of the, hello, the name of the place I want to go and the date. And then I can show them that written down on a piece of paper. And then I don't have to uh, speak with the ticket seller and it doesn't get confusing. <laughs> okay, here it is here, the uh, ticket selling area of the railway station. When I was here last time, I eventually got directed over to this left side in order to buy tickets for Bagan. But I think for Malamayin, I probably have to go over here. And uh, when I was here last time, I was literally the only person here. It's a lot busier today. And that could be because of the Thading Yut Festival. Perhaps people are uh, booking tickets to go home. So uh, as you can see, everything is written in the uh, Burmese script. So I don't really know which window I have to go to. And that's normal. I just go to a ticket window, tell them what I want and then they will tell me whether I'm in the right place or not. I probably will be in the wrong place and they will direct me to the uh, next one. These places often have signs uh, like, like this one over here, which I find very nice. It says, uh, warmly welcome and take care of tourists. And that's me. So we'll see whether I get warmly welcomed. All right, I've got my tools of the trade. That's how you spell Molamayin, by the way. I'm not 100% convinced about my pronunciation, and I hope to go on October 11th, which is this Friday. 
I've got my passport. Now I'm just going to pick a window at random, one with few people in it. I'll start here and then he will direct me to uh, the right window perhaps. I'm assuming the signs above all these windows, you know, have the names of the uh, towns around uh, Myanmar, but I, I can't read them. Even if I compare them to a, you know, the name Walamin written in the Burmese script, I, I don't think I'd be able to figure it out. Oh, it seems to be an open ticket window. I'm going to try that one and see what he has to say. The guy behind the window is probably thinking, oh no. A foreigner, why is he coming to my window? Hello. Ticket to like Mola Main? Mola Main? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't understand. Uh, Upper. Oh, upper, yeah, upper class. This burger, red, red. Right there? This burger, red, red, red. Okay. Red color, red color. Red color. Yeah. Oh, okay, red color. Thank you. Hmm. So I guess there are different windows for the class, like ordinary class or upper class. And he said I have to go to the red color for upper class, but I, <laughs> they're all red. All the signs are red, even the sign above his window was red. So uh, that doesn't help me out very much. Well, I'll move down one or two windows and try this one. It's like, uh, it's like buying a lottery ticket. You never know whether you get it right. man at this window uh, disappeared briefly. Hello. Do you have tickets to Mola Main? Mola Main. Yeah, Mola Main. Yeah. What class or upper class? I guess upper. Upper class, yeah. They are outside the street. Yeah, oh, yeah, over yeah, there? Yeah, yeah. Face way, face. way yeah, down yeah, there. Go yeah. back on the street. Okay. You will, see, you will see ticket broken corner. Okay, I'll try that. Thank you, sir. Yeah. How, what is the price, upper class, upper and, lo class. and lower class? Lower class, yeah. Uh, this corner is lower class. And how much is it uh, uh, lower class? 2,500. Okay. 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 And upper class, do you know how much? Upper class, upper class, 4,500. Lower okay. class is 2,200. Okay. I'll, I'll try over there. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Well, he said that the uh, ordinary class is 2,200 chat and upper class is 4,500 chat. And I thought I would go for the upper class. You just get a nicer seat, more room. And it is, it could be a 10 hour train ride. So I figure I'll do that rather than sit on a hard bench for the whole trip. Though I didn't understand what he was saying. He didn't say anything about red color but he seemed to be pointing in this direction, but he kept saying street, go to the street. But again, doesn't really matter. This is where I bought my uh, ticket for Bagan long ago. And uh, I'll try this and see whether they can also sell me a ticket to Malamine, Malamain. It's like a treasure hunt. Each window has a different number. I remember I was directed down here originally for my Bagan ticket. So maybe I will try this one again. This one might be for foreigners. 
Hello. Uh, as you can see, all of the uh, the reservations are being filled out on that chart. You know, of each uh, train car representing all the different seats. Hello. Hello. Where are you go? I hope to go to Malamain. Malamain. Yeah, Malamain. Malamain full. Oh, it's full. Apagla three day booking. Ah, okay, okay. So, October 11th, full? Full. Okay. Full. Oh, 12th is full? Oh. 11th, 3D full. Oh. Okay, thank you. Thank you. And uh, what about ordinary class? One, either ticket. Okay. Okay. Wow. I thought I was planning ahead a little bit, but apparently I wasn't planning ahead enough. Um, all of the upper class tickets are full, fully booked. Um, 12th is fully booked. Um, so, some quick calculations going on here. What I might do is just buy an ordinary class ticket anyway. It's, you know, 2,200 chat. And um, that's, you know, a dollar or two. And then if I have the ticket, I can use it. Or if I decide to stay in Yangon and not go, then uh, I don't lose that much. <laughs> Back to the uh, original windows for uh, ordinary class. See what happens. Maybe they won't even sell me an ordinary class ticket. Sometimes foreigners aren't allowed to do that. We have to buy the upper class or take a private boat or uh, something like that. Oh, I think I'll go back to this window. This young fellow seemed to be uh, sharp and on the ball. Hello again. Uh, upper class is full. Yes. Could I get ordinary class? Ordinary class is full. Also full. Yes. Even like on 11th, full? October 11th. October 11th. Other side corner. Other side? Yes. Another side corner. Another side corner. Okay. A di different window? Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Down there. <laughs> The hunt continues. At that window, uh, ordinary class is full, but somehow at a different window, they're not full anymore. So maybe each window is for a different day as well as a different train and a different class? I don't know. Oh, for three days, three days in advance. Right, okay. Just here? Yeah. Yeah, for. Uh, Upper class is yeah, full. Yeah, upper class full. Yeah. Okay. We are going now. Who is? Um, Molamain. Oh yes, Molamain. Okay. This yeah, maybe try it there. Okay, we'll give it a try. For uh, October 11th. Oduwa 11. Okay. Yeah. Does he have upper or only ordinary? Upper only. Or oh. Upper, upper. Is over there. Okay. Upper is full. Upper. Upper. Yes. But upper is full. Upper only. Yeah. Full. Finished. Full. Yeah. So Finished. I will get ordinary. Ah. Okay. Upper. Upper. Did that. Upper. Did that. So. This will be ripper. Oh no, but I will get. I want to get ordinary class. Yeah, yes. ordinary. Yeah, ordinary. For October 11th, Friday. 11th, okay. Demonstration rule is only one day. 
Wendy, tomorrow, tomorrow buy, you can buy. Oh, okay. Cat. So ordinary, I can't buy today? Today is no, no buy. No buy. No oh, okay. But you said this was three day in advance. No? This is this is our 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 you know blue color same bed class this is same bed class. Fine. Okay. Tomorrow this. Tomorrow this this window another window man you can buy you can buy tomorrow's tomorrow ordinary class October eleven day. Okay, but today. Today is no no this class. Ah, okay. Hmm. Tomorrow date is you can buy this ordinary class only. Okay. Only mm. you can see. Hmm. 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 Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> no. The mystery uh, continues. Yeah. So over there. Okay. Anyway, thank you. Morning, this morning, seven o'clock you go. Okay, this morning, tomorrow morning. Morning, so. you go. Oh, very, very prepared, high season. Okay. Very prepared. Uh, oh. Okay. All right, thank you. This morning. Yeah, very okay. busy. Events seem to be pushing me towards staying in Yangon. And that's not a bad thing. I have so many things I could do here. And experiencing the Festival of Lights in Yangon. You know, at Shwedagon Pagoda, at all the famous places here, you know, that, that'll be absolutely great. But again, that is kind of funny, because after all those stages, my this fellow started helping me, and he said that, oh, you're buying it for October 11th, which is two days from now. You have to go down to this window. And at this window, that's where they sell tickets, you know, for two or three days in advance. So I went there, and while we were standing there discussing this, suddenly I couldn't anymore. At that window, I have to come the day before. Like I have to come the day before my trip in order to buy a ticket at that window. At least that's what I understood they were saying. So I was thinking, okay, now what do I do? And then as we're leaving, everything changed again. And he started saying that, I have to come back tomorrow morning early, 7 a.m., to buy a ticket one day in advance, and then I have to do it way back there again, even though those are for upper-class tickets, but now for one day in advance, I have to go there to buy ordinary-class tickets. So basically, no idea what's going on, like none at all. None of the information I got from any of these windows makes any sense to me. Perhaps it does make sense uh, if you think about it more carefully than I am at the moment. Or maybe they know what is going on. Of course, it's a bit frustrating. All I want to do is buy a train ticket for this Friday. It shouldn't be that complicated. But uh, that is how life is overseas. And you, uh, you roll with the punches and make the best of it. The funny thing is, that after getting so many different answers from so many different people at different windows, my impulse is just to keep trying. It's almost like, I feel like if I go up to one of these windows a third or fourth time, suddenly I'll be able to get a ticket. Like everything will be different and I'll be able to get an upper class ticket for Friday or any day I want. You know, things can change that fast. But yeah, as a guy who really, uh, admires systems and logic. It does strike me as odd that for different days, you have to come on different days to buy the ticket. I mean, if I want to buy a ticket for this Friday, the fact that it's Wednesday today should make any difference. They've got this pieces of paper there, you know, they can just write my name down on a seat, issue the ticket and you know, we're good to go coming back tomorrow morning. I can't understand from any bureaucratic point of view why that would make uh, any difference at all, but apparently it does make a difference. So I'm gonna sit down here for just a second and uh, think this through. 
I think it is that uncertainty when it comes to making arrangements that is the hardest thing for, you know, foreign tourists like me. I mean, there's a certain amount of physical hardship. I mean, in there, it was so hot. My shirt is just drenched with sweat right now. I'm exhausted. And all I tried to do so far today was buy a train ticket. And I feel like going back to the guest room and going back to bed. Just like, ah, so tired. All for just trying to buy a train ticket. And not to be too graphic, but in that train station area, the smell of human excrement was just overpowering. I don't know where it was coming from. And I don't even have a sensitive nose, and I found it was really a, a bit much. So people with a good sense of smell probably find that a very trying experience. But it's really just the uncertainty that's the most frustrating thing. Uh, adding up everything I found out, the only conclusion I can come to is that if I want to take a train to, you know, Mala Main, on Friday, I have to come back tomorrow morning early at 7 a.m. But I have zero, like zero confidence that that is true in any way. Um, I have no idea about any of the information I got there, which parts of it are true, which parts of it are wrong. Um, yeah, no idea at all. <laughs> For someone like me, you know, it's not a big deal, you know, I'm here as a tourist. If I don't go to Malamine on Friday, I stay here. It's not, for me, not that big a deal. But I can't imagine, you know, uh, trying to live a real life here and having a business and depending on arrangements, you know, if things need to happen in a certain way at a certain time, I can imagine it getting a trying, you know, a little bit trying over time. An interesting thing that occurs to me is that it's exactly that experience that turned me into, you know, what I call myself on YouTube and on my website, the Cycling Canadian, because in the old days I'd be traveling around, you know, as a backpacker, doing that all the time, trying to get train tickets, trying to get bus tickets, you know, going to bus stations, then trying to get from the bus station to a guest house, then from the guest house to a... It was like the whole trip became nothing but a struggle with transportation. So setting aside all of that, just buying the ticket is such a challenge that uh, one day I started riding a bike. I thought, hey, you know, riding a bike isn't easy, but at least you're in control the whole time. You know, you just get on your bike and you leave and you go. So that's how I became the Cycling Canadian, was a ticket experiences just like that one. <laughs> 